Now the first thing you're going to want to do once your head unit is installed is probably like I'll hook up the Android Auto. So for, to do that, we're just going to what we first need to do is we just have to give our unit our access to the internet. So if we scroll down from the top, click on the Wi-Fi, turn the Wi-Fi on, and then on your phone. On your Android phone, if you go into into like settings, scroll down from the top, you should actually have a hotspot there. You can just turn your hotspot on. If you can't see it there, it's under like network and internet under like hotspot and tethering. So once you've turned your turn like your hotspot on, should come up here, and you just need to type in the password to join it. As you can see, we are now connected. So this head unit now has access to the internet from your phone's hotspot. Go into the app, you're looking for an app called uh, Z-Link. Now, this is quite a handy app to have down here. So if there's something here you don't need, you just drag over to this side, go to Z-Link, click and hold on it, and you can drag it back into, into your home screen there. So obviously that's your app like pages here. And these are your different home screen pages. It's just the same as your Android phone works. So I'm going to click on Z-Link now. Allow all that, press continue. Because it's already hooked to the internet, it's going to, see it's going to inactivate itself. Just need to activate it. So it is now been activated. Now I'm going to come back, I'm going to go to Bluetooth. So we'll trash that one. And we want to turn our phones up, our hotspot up, off. Make sure our phone's Bluetooth is on. And then search for available devices. You can see the phone has come up there. We'll wait till the symbol finishes uh, like a searching before we can join. Click on that, click on the tick. You're going to see something uh, come up on your phone here. Click pair and connect and type in the password, which is four zeros. It's going to come across the <laughs> This side over here. Now we're going to go home. Now, if we click on the Z-Link app straight away, you can see it says waiting. Um, and saying Android Auto needs like Wi Fi. So we're going here, turn our Wi Fi and our phone on because Android Auto. It does use like the Wi-Fi on your phone. You can see we have like a Wi-Fi connected up here on our phone. If you actually scroll down, I'm not connected to the correct network at the moment, but this should connect to like Android Android AP. So you can see it connected to the home network here, and then it's changed to Android AP. And now it's like popped up. And go continue. And you have wireless Android Auto up on your screen. So that's how you, how you, how you like set up Android Auto. So you can also uh, plug it in via USB, but majority of people just use the like wireless ones that'll pop up when you jump into the car.